this is. That's something else. Text speeds go fast. Captions on English. See what this game is all about, because I've heard that it was this was a really good RPG. Um, what is this? Get rewards by purchasing or gifting subscriptions to. J oh, so you get rewards if you if you gift or purchase subs. Hmm. on everybody.
what the hell? Just drop a meteor on us? I thought it was going to be like, oh, it was a dream, but... No, someone dropped like a meteor or something. that I am Argonar. Argonar. They're all zombified. Out of my way. Taking candy from a baby. Oh, wow. Okay. So I take damage. Attack command will bring up the target ring automatically. As a sort of ability to normal attack with weapons. When the target ring system is activated, the target ring in time count. Hold down the right trigger and release when the outer ring is directly over the target ring.
Alright, let's try this out. Taking candy from a baby. Hey, hey. What? That guy over there. He's still alive. Huh? <gasps> hey, you! What about the others? You alone? What's your name? Your unit? Second Lieutenant Kai Marganar, Commander, 17th Platoon, Armored Magic Troopers. It's a miracle you made it. Come with me. This way. Unbelievable. One survivor. Yeah. Amazing he made it out safe. Especially in that outfit. <laughs> Symbol rings for the target system and components are in battle or found in treasure chests or at stores.
We're pulling out! Let's move! Yeah, someone launched a meteor at everybody. <sighs> That's Officer Seth Balmore with the 43rd Magic Division. She's like you. She got out in one piece. Really? You two are walking miracles. Uh. Hey, I... <sighs> this kind of reminds me of, um... Somewhat similar feeling of like Final Fantasy VIII. Although the presentation is different, for sure. the music, I think. The Magic Republic of Ura. Here's where you get off, Lieutenant. Hmm? The Council wishes to hear from a survivor, sir. Sorry, not you, Officer Bobble. I'm a survivor, too. The Council has only summoned Lieutenant Argonar. Sit down and shut up. Hmm. Well, that's just weird. This way, Lieutenant. Why wouldn't you want to hear from two survivors?
Okay, so they want me to take a central lift, so I'm gonna take the side. Let's see what's up here. Anything up here. Guess not. You're that guy, right? The soldier that can't die. The 17th Division. That was the front line. They were smack in the middle of the Wall Highlands. No one could have survived that meteor crash. But here you are, without a scratch. Beg your pardon, Lieutenant, but it's really strange. The few we were able to save were far from the center of impact, and even those men were seriously injured. It's just, it's hard to believe that anyone could have survived that inferno. Then don't believe it. The Council won't like that attitude. Come on, tell us. How'd you make it?
don't know. There was a meteor, and then just people dead. Sakaguchi. Yeah, there it is. ago, a new power manifested itself onto the world. With its discovery came the magic industrial revolution. This power came to be called magic energy. Even now, there are none who can explain why this power, a power that merely lay buried within all living creatures, suddenly flourished as it did. Today, this magic energy permeates every corner of the world. It has changed the way people live, transformed the shape of industry, and has even altered the nature of war. Of course it has. Is it true the Kents have requested a truce? Indeed. We heard that enough men were committed to cover the Wall Highlands, and that most of the Ken force were eliminated. This war was started by them. It's only right they withdraw. We've also lost a tremendous number of troops. After suffering such a devastating loss, if the Gotsa were to strike now, there would be no way we could defend our country. And there are also whispers that Gotsa was pulling strings behind the invasion. What makes you think that the Gotsa were involved? We have confirmed that a large amount of military hardware has been moved from Gotsa to Kent. We assume Gotsa plans to use Kent to keep things stirred up and destabilize Ura. Are you saying that even the meteor crash was a Gotsan plot? My lord, I have some disturbing information on that subject. We suspect that a situation at Grandstaff may have caused the meteor crash. Grand staff. This is not the first time that stories about you reached my ears. This is not confirmed, but magic energy may have leaked out of Grand Staff, interfered with something in outer space, and precipitated this disaster. Gongora! Yes, my lord. The Grand Staff falls under your jurisdiction. Do you have anything to say? Nothing for the moment. 
Where did you get this information? Construction of Grand Staff is going smoothly. Now that the forces of Ura have suffered such devastating losses, I think we have no other way to protect our land except with the magic energy that Grand Staff will provide. We should hold off on debating the pros and cons of Grand Staff until we've thoroughly reviewed the world's current situation. What you say makes sense, but our plan to use magic energy is a double-edged sword. With all sorts of rumors flying around, we might want to halt construction of Grand Staff. What? Only temporarily. As soon as it's clear that Grand Staff had nothing to do with the meteor collision, we'll resume construction immediately, Gungora. They're showing him off, look kind of shifty. I wonder if I can I mean guardian or okay
Well done. You may leave. Huh? Uh Lieutenant Kaya Marganar, we thank you for a job well done. I am Roxia, Chairman of the Central Council of Ura. Well, Lieutenant, it seems people are calling you the Immortal. We've heard there were almost no survivors from Ura or Kent after the meteor crashed on the highlands. And yet, you appear to be unharmed, even though you were presumably at the precise point of impact. Tell me, how did you survive? I don't know. My lord, please allow me to explain. Fine. Speak. Thank you, my lord. Actually, this man is immortal thanks to my magic energy. He is under a spell of immortality that I conjured. Hmm. I wish to know more. This immortality spell, how does it work? I don't know. What? Are you saying that you don't know about the spell cast on you? Uh, yeah. I don't remember. I recall nothing. My lord, uh, this man has lost his memory. However, he is skilled in magic energy, so I have been studying his abilities. Then what can you tell us, Gongora? With all due respect, my lord, the spell is a curse. It is said that merely hearing it brings death near. For the safety of everyone, it is better that the spell be kept secret. Hmm. Very well. Since I trust your studied opinion, I shall take your word that we should not know the spell. Death is determined by fate, and one cannot fight it. Mm. Lieutenant, since it seems that you cannot be killed, the Council would like to bestow a special mission on you. Yeah, ellipses. We want you to go to Grandstaff. My lord. Gongora, you cannot keep this hidden any longer. Till now, construction has been left up to you. But we've lost contact with the site. It's just that... Gongora! Until we can confirm that Grand Staff Project is safe, construction shall be suspended. Yes, my lord. So now, Lieutenant Argonar, you know of Grand Staff under construction in the Sea of Bas? I've heard that it's a magic staff. Yes, it is. As you just heard, all communications with the site have been cut off for some time now. Considering the danger from magic energy leaks, we suspect that no one can investigate the possible cause, except someone immortal. Well, there is someone else. What did you say? Yeah, there was another person that survived. At the Wall Highlands. Another immortal. Her name is Balmor. Mm -hmm. Well then, this other one shall accompany you. I shall summon her. Quickly, make the arrangements. Right away, my lord. My lord, pardon me for saying this. And I'm building Grand Staff for the sake of our nation and its people. Enough. We will await Kaim's return and report. Of course, my lord. You are dismissed, Lieutenant.
You are off duty until further official orders. Okay. Nothing else happened here yet. Let's check out some of these shops. in here. This is the purple. So, is this magic? Oh, armor. He's not here. The owner's not here. Uh, let's see. So let's go to the blue one. So purple is weapons and armor. Blue is what's blue? Is it just items? And now, where's the end? I propose that Gongora be removed from Grand Staff Project with control transferred to this council. My lord! In addition, until Lieutenant Argonar completes his investigation, I propose that Gongora be confined to his residence under surveillance. Those who disagree with my proposal, raise your hands now. It appears I have no choice but to agree. <sighs> I see there are no objections. It is decided. Yeah, it was weird. What's that? Yeah, those are memories. Those two are very specific. Those two people were very specific. <laughs>
The dream has been revealed. The family members have tears in their eyes when they welcome Kaim back to the inn from his long journey. He understands the situation immediately. The time for departure is drawing near. Hannah's departure. Still, he knows this day would have to come sometime, and not in a distant future. She hasn't opened her eyes since the last night. has lost consciousness, it is by no means unusual for the voices of the family to break forth smiles or tears. Kaya puts his arm around a woman's shoulder and says, I have lots of travel stories to tell her. I've been looking forward to this my whole time on the road. Instead of smiling, the woman releases another large tear and nods to Kaim. And Hannah was so looking forward to hearing your stories. I wish I could urge you to rest up, but from your travels before you see her. There's very little time left. Is Hannah that... sparkling eyes urging on to new episodes but and then and then when I left the end she would beg them please come back and tell me lots and lots of stories about faraway countries on the side where the sun comes up. I took a boat from the harbor way, way, way far beyond the mountains. You can see from this window. There was nothing but ocean as far as the eye could see. Just as, just the sea in the sky. You've never been seeing the ocean, but I'm sure people have told you about it. It's like a huge, big, endless puddle. She can hear him, even if she cannot speak or see. Her ears are still alive. Believing and hoping this to be true, Khan continues with the story of his travels. Sounds like gentleness is different from anyone else. A bright voice sometimes even accompanying his story with exaggerated gestures. Tells her about the blue ocean, the blue sky. Says nothing about the violent sea battle. Never tells her about those things.
He's returning from the battle. More precisely, he had ended one battle and was on his way to the next. of destiny turned in a slightly different way his enemies would have been comrades and his comrades enemies and why each face of a man who died in agony was burned permanently into his brain ordinarily he would spend nights on the road drinking immersing himself in an alcoholic stupor or pretending to he was trying to make himself forget the unforgettable when, however, he saw Hannah smile as she begged him for stories about his long journey, he felt a far warmer and deeper comfort. He told him many things about the beautiful tower he discovered, about the bewitching beauty of the mist filling the forest, marvelous taste of the spring water in a ravine. Concealed his position as a mercenary farmer. Kept silent regarding his reasons for traveling constantly. Hmm. Five years, ten years, his friendship with the girl continued. She neared adulthood, which meant that, as the doctors had predicted, each day brought her that much closer to death. In the darkness of night, and as deep as long pauses ensued, enter into Hannah's breathing. The frail thread of her life is about to snap as Kaim and her parents watch over her. The tiny light that has lodged in Kaim's breast will be extinguished. that has never entered into any of the stories you've heard so far. With joy mixed with tears, it's your turn now. mind is filled with lost pieces of past memories. Certain sites of or conversations can bring these memories back in the form of dreams. To view episodes from a thousand years or dreams again, rest at any inn or bed, or selecting from the start menu, you can view these episodes any number of times. You can pause it or cancel it. Hmm, but I wonder what it does though. Spends a lot of time with treasure forever. Thank you. They're waiting the whole time. How can I have any fun? It's like bad weather just falls in around. The soldiers were loud. Everything was so expensive. Okay. 
came here to send my son off to the army. He's such a kind hearted boy. I'm wondering I'm worried that he won't fit in with those military types. I saw the castle I played with the dog. I'll go to my grandma's house tomorrow. street map. Batters are dying on me. Okay, what was this over here? Whoop, sorry. Whoop, look out. Sorry, miss. Jansen, messenger for Lord Gangora, <laughs> at your service. Man, what an attitude. Jeez whiz. Uh. If you're intending to give a message, try to catch up to the person as soon as possible. Give a message. Oh, you gotta be all weird about it. this dream. Nursing his drink in the far corner of the old post. Where is a garb of warrior, a sold uniform bespeaks a long journey. I'm the soldier with awe and gratitude. 
soldiers took seat at the t table next to Kimes and down slug of liquor, forcefulness of a hard drinker. Ingratiating grin, a typical crafty town punk. Punk flies into a rage and draws his knife. No sooner does it leave his sheath than Kyron's fist sends it flying through the air. The punk runs out muttering curses. Kyron just had to speak with the soldier to know he lives in deep sadness. I went to the shadow base. Heard the news that the war was over. So, so, stay alive in battle. You had to go and killing men before they kill you. Time to think about such things at the front. I was too busy trying to survive. I see it now, though. Now that the war's over, three years of sand crept into my face. This is a kill.
Go to see if there's any other shops. Still not back. Is there an item shop here? A cart or something on the side? gonna run around some more. Oh, oh yeah, she's in a burn. That's why he's probably dead. Oh, a little poster coming up the wall. Residential area.
else we're gonna do there? Can't go over here. Look around at some more stuff. Gungora. Oh yeah, I have to go to Gungora's mansion. He's confined to his house. Which is really big. I have a lot of gold. House arrest is going too far. I have firmly opposed Roxian on this. Do not despair, Gongora. Thank you, Your Majesty. It is much more than I could have asked. Your father would have been pleased. I could never fill my father's shoes. And now that Ura is a republic, I am simply a citizen like everyone else. I am no longer Your Majesty. I respect the royal blood that flows in your veins. It is only fitting that I offer the respect you're due. Do not be foolish. People will think you're a dissident who wants to restore the monarchy. I'm truly happy that you have come to see me. You've always been so kind. You taught me the rudiments of magic. I cannot help but be kind to you in return. I cannot understand Roxian. I believe he intends to stop work on Grand Staff. It makes me angry, Gongora. Our entire nation has benefited from magic energy, yet he does not understand the significance of Grand Staff. If we can increase magic energy with Grand Staff, just think how much better our people's lives would be. We would no longer need soldiers. You have seen the future of Ura and how Grand Staff can make it happen. Roxian's vision is too narrow for our nation to grow. I am sorry you had to witness that. There is no need to apologize. I'm happy your highness understands. But even if they stop Grand Staff, we could develop a newer and far better magic engine. Please let me know what you need, Gongora. I can help you. I am unworthy, your highness.
Please, go in. That woman. How could she be in Ura without me knowing? Good, you're here. I asked you here for only one reason. Hold on. What is it? Oh, oh no, great, here he comes. <gasps> Hey, whoa, 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 hey, hey, you are really short-tempered. Hey, I don't have a sword, okay? Easy. Uh, why are you here? I told you I'm just a messenger. I, I came to see if you really come or not, which you have, so that's good. That's enough, Kaim. He's on our side. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. A little late, though. We can use him. He's cunning and quick, and he has many connections. I want you to take him on your investigation of Grand Staff. No way, sir. You know I thought he'd say that, my lord. <laughs> His shoes, hello? Look, this other immortal joining the investigation, she might be dangerous. Why? The woman was once a pirate. I don't know how it happened, but she's now a soldier for our army. Well, the past is the past, and I know little else about her. Take Jensen with you. He can help keep her in check. Despite what else he may be, he has a healthy respect for women. Ah. <sighs> so, you know, I heard she was a looker, if you catch my drift. I mean, you've seen her, right? Okay, okay, be that way. <sighs> you guys are way too serious. Hmm. Pirate. All right. Understood. All right, then. I'll be there early. Oh, yeah, you can count on it. Remember, Kaim. You're the only one I can trust. I can't leave here for a while. The Grand Staff is my life's work. So if something is wrong, I want you, with your immortal powers, to find out what it is. Your eyebrows say Understood. Villain. You'll be briefed later. You should go now. I'll be right behind you. Oh, he's going to be fun to work with. This is for your trouble. Wow, nice. You know, my lord, I've been thinking, uh, working with this guy, uh, it's like playing with fire. I mean, did you see his eyes? I mean, that's creepy. I got a bad feeling about this whole thing. I mean, this little guarantee is not going to be enough, I'm afraid, to keep an eye on him. You're going to have to give me a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. You're already under a magic contract. Don't get greedy. 
Wow! Whoa, hey, okay, that's some serious mojo. Easy, easy. Is your fee still unsatisfactory? Okay, not funny. I'm not laughing, okay? I didn't stick my neck out for this, okay? Jeez, everyone's a pain in the ass. Take a bath. Hmm. Let's go. What's over here? Nothing. Okay.
do I go back to... Oh, here we go. Here she is. Hey! I've been looking everywhere for you. I heard about the Grand Staff investigation. Looks like we both got the short end of the stick. It's not enough that we just keep surviving, eh? There's always something. So, what did you learn in the council? Nothing to do with you. Oh, <laughs> really? Say, haven't we met somewhere before? Hmm? Ugh. Nothing to worry about if you can't remember. Neither can I. You too, huh? I can't recall a thing. All I know is that my name seems to be Seth Balmore. People say I used to be a pirate. <sighs> Isn't it strange that both of us lost our memory and are immortal? <laughs> Maybe we met a long time ago. I sort of get that feeling when I look at you. Hmm. When we met before, were we enemies? Or allies? Or maybe even lovers. <laughs> Looking forward to starting our journey tomorrow, Kaim Arganar. Tomorrow? You still haven't been contacted by the council? You set out for Grand Staff tomorrow morning. I thought you would have heard by now. Oh, and by the way, I'll be joining you on your little trip. So you are going with me then? Being late is strictly forbidden. What kind of fighter she is. She looks like she's a punchy type. Check that shot again. Still not back yet.
guess I'll just, I'll just go then. Why aren't we leaving? We should have already been gone by now. I'm waiting for somebody. What? Who? There's somebody else on the team. Huh? I haven't heard about that. I have. Other guy? Yeah. Whoa, baby. What a oh, I can't believe my luck. Drink some booze. Why are you late? Can't you tell? A man's gotta do certain things before leaving on a mission like this. I know what I had to do. Ah. Uh, uh, do Shark. Ah. Uh, <laughs> thank you, my lovely. Do or die, Johnson is now off to meet certain death. Oh, yes, you. Oh, Johnson, come back to us. We still have that body. Oh, that is so sweet. I know, I know. Oh, don't say that. That's so nice. Hey, oh, you girls, I'm already missing you. Hey, can I have just 15 more minutes? Hey, 15 for her, for her, and her. That's 45 minutes. Good. That's all I'm Like we would wait for you, you worthless drunk. You poor good. things. I think you know what? Good. You're free to go. Hey, hey. Thanks oh. for bringing him to us. Well, thank you. You're such a doll. You come and play with us next time, honey. Hey, don't touch me. Get out of here. Shoot. Oh, that's not very nice. Okay, bye, bye, girl. Don't cry. I'll be back. Don't worry. Okay. Bye again. Great. Just what we need. More useless hey, baggage. Hey, hey, that's not nice. I'm gonna come in real handy. You know, you can count on it. Uh, oh, hey. Who's counting on what? Oh, yeah. Ow. Uh, hey. Uh, Man, you are so angry. What is your problem? Hey, uh, you ready? Still late. Mortals like Jensen and I'm just because we're raising their level.
Okay. Alright, so let's go skill. The skill like Jansen. Are you not? I heard that rumor too. Mind virus, what the woke mind virus? It's all about how it's pre presented. There's nothing wrong with diversity and inclusion, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just how it's being presented. But these days, everyone sees someone of a different color or a different ethnicity, different religion and stuff, and all of a sudden it's woke, and it's just like, uh, I'm getting tired of that. People need to understand. Here we go.
think I'm going here and then. I just gotta fall. This is like a death march. Hey, we gotta get through that? Uh, there's no road! Pull yourself together. If this is all it takes to wear you out, we're in trouble. Yeah, well, I don't wear out in bed. Once we get through here, there's the Ypsilon Range. Those mountains are steep and rugged. The weather is unpredictable. And since the ground is unstable, we have to be on the lookout for rock slides, too. Of course, I expect to see you take a tumble into the canyon before we see any rocks doing it. <laughs> yeah, funny. You know, Lord Gungora was saying you have a problem with your memory, right? I mean, you sure know these mountains well enough. And of course, you know you shave your legs every day and you pluck your eyebrows and you owe me money. So, I, I'm confused. You sure you really don't remember? My body remembers. What? There was a time when I used to rush through here. I was a pirate. And supposedly, I also went through these mountains. I just don't know what the truth is. I don't have any answers. Huh. Well, what about you? Did anyone tell you what you once were? No. Nothing? Nothing. Well, since you're so upbeat and happy, I doubt if anyone will remember you. That's fine with me. Oh? My body also remembers. How so? Just that it was painful. If I happen to remember, and my past didn't amount to much, then I think it's probably better to have never remembered. Oh yeah, that's smart. Kaim, there's no need to rush it. Your memories will come back gradually. And they're not all bad. Hmm. What? No breaks? You just had one. Yeah, how about some water? A little fruit? How about a foot fruit massage? Surprise, My feet don't stink. Kaim, you up for that? Hello? Okay, so she uses the weapon too. Yeah! 
victories. Oh. A bucket of food supplies for 30 days. Stoke Tutorial. From A to H. Two black magic. Actually, we're doing some white magic. And then. Factual analysis. Just a steal. So, have we learned white magic? No, no. Uh, Except for learn black magic. Oh, those are all his skills already. Okay. Fire damage. Ooh, we can make it.
so I wonder... You know, it's tough it. being so popular. How many levels I can get if I just kind of grind in this area. Some kind of beast. Bad 
Yeah. Well, Kyrim and Seth, okay. Is there to learn? Black magic level two. Steel infection level. Yeah, I'll do that. Level one black magic. Let's have you learn white magic. Out of my way! A favor. I'm just gonna ask this once, okay? Will you listen? Uh, all right already. What do you want? Uh, 
Ah, uh, whining. Okay. Is that all you can say? Can't we just rest in that hut over there? All you do is complain, complain, complain. I'm not like you two. I'm a normal human being. What should we do? All right. Let's rest. Thank you. save here and I will try to come back to this a little bit later. I've been on the streaming for a few hours now because I was playing Silent Hill earlier. But um yeah let me go ahead and save here and uh, I'll come back a little bit later. After I get some in the eat and rest up a little bit. Until next time, I'm JP and I am out of here. Peace.